Thank you for holding until the end, especially Frederico that's not in the best. Thanks a lot. So my topic is about proxy SQL and Perquan Extra DB cluster. Uh, most of you know this as Galera as well. So basically it's the same thing. So do not get confused with this. We can go in details later. Uh, I'm a Perquan engineer for almost two years. I've been working with databases for nine years. Started with SQL Server. I know this is not the best option to start, but it was the beginning. Uh, so first I'm going to explain a little bit. Uh, I spoke with a few of you during the meetup and most of you use uh, classic replication. So I'm going to explain a little bit in general how PXC differs from our classic replication or our standalone MySQL version. Basically, traditional replication uh, works in this way. We have the I.O. thread and SQL thread. The master writes something and then sends to the slave in a synchronous mode and everything is replicated. Uh, we have some issues, like most of you already faced the replication delay and if the master crashes for some reason you can lose data or the switchover uh, is not uh, very effective there is like if if you are using orchestrator which is automated to to perform switchovers uh, even this is not made in a total transparent way so your application will be out even for a few minutes and there are a few critical applications that even a few minutes represents a few dollars lost mm -hmm. uh, and this is a single point of failure even if you are using master master replication this is not the ideal case uh, what PXC tries to bring uh, is high availability uh, and also data integrity. So these are the main two features of the Galera and PXC. And this is mainly what it tries to cover. Uh, any node can act as a master, which does not mean that we recommend to write on all nodes at the same time. Uh, it supports, but the conflict resolution uh, it works, but it's not the best for the application. Uh, the proxy SQL will try to cover this, like you uh, trying to choose only one master at a single time. And PXC is designed better for read scalability, so you can you can route your queries, uh, your read queries to each node, so you can gain a lot of uh, performance on this way. So uh, another benefit is an automatic node provisioning, which means is that ah, I want to scale my node. This is especially coming with Kubernetes. This is the new trend. MPXC fits really good on this because if you want to put a new node live, uh, PXC automatically provides the new node. You just start it, the node recognizes the new member, and all that is, transfer, uh, is transferred in a total transparent way. And when it comes up, it starts to processing data. There are two mainly ways. So when you are performing a new, a completely new start, uh, a snapshot state transfer is performed, which is basic, basically a physical or a logical copy. And the IST, uh, which means is that if the node uh, is out for a performance maintenance or a upgrade, when it comes back to the cluster, you don't, you don't need to pull all of the data. You only need to pull the differential data from when it, when it went out. Uh, as I said before, it handles workload conflict uh, actually, the, uh, the first committer wins, so if we're trying to perform the same inserting two nodes at the same time, the winner is the one that performed the commit first. The other one will receive a conflict error, abort. Uh, this is not going to disrupt your data, but your application is going to see it. So your application, 
If you are trying to perform writes on null nodes, you need to be prepared to handle these errors. Uh, also, we have a mechanism of flow control, which means is that uh, to ensure data consistency, all nodes need to walk together. So we usually say that the speed of the cluster is based on the slowest node. So the recommendation is to do not have uh, different hardware configurations or virtual machine configurations because the, low, the slowest one will hold the performance of the cluster. These parameters are, are configurable, but again, uh, if you are going to use uh, PXC Galera, uh, your main purpose is data integrity. So it doesn't make much sense uh, having consistency among the nodes. Also, this is a feature uh, only for PXC, which is that uh, cluster safe mode. Like there is a variable that PXC strict force mode, which uh, will not allow uh, unsafe commands, unsafe engines, like you cannot use MyEisen if you are using strict mode to ensure data consistency. Also, uh, PXC, uh, it, it handles, it fits well with uh, load balancers, not only proxy SQL, but we have HA proxy and we have one from several nines, I, am, I, I do not remember if on the top of my head now, but it works, it, wor it handles well, also with classic VP. So if, if you have a VP and it's doing switchovers, it works pretty well. So basically this is what I have to mention about uh, PXC. If you have any questions, uh, I will be available in the end to clarify. Our next and the main purpose uh, is proxy SQL. Uh, Percona actually has the officially supporting 1.4. It's available in the mainstream Pro proxy SQL 2.0, but we are planning to launch the general available version of 2.0 in the next few days. So some of features that proxy SQL has is query question. And this is the real query question, not what my SQL had in the past. Like the, I don't know if most of you guys are aware, but our classic query question in my SQL had a problem with the mutex. So it was really bad to have query question. This is not the case. Uh, it also supports query halting. So we do the load balancing of reading queries uh, using query halting. Uh, it, can, it can act as a firewall and also support uh, configuration with zero downtime. This means that uh, proxy SQL can be fully dynamic and configurable. You don't need to perform any restarts. Also supports proxy SQL. Uh, proxy SQL can be uh, supports a cluster now. So this is not a single point of failure anymore. You can have multiple proxy SQLs. And it's open source. It's not owned by Percona. We contribute to the community. Uh, most of you, uh, as I could see, does not work with Galera. Um, most have heard about it. So I want to mention that it supports classic replication with many slaves, one master, multiple masters, and anything like that. It is fully supported. Also, in this case, proxy SQL is on the application servers, but it can be in the middle. This is up to you and the, your decision in the design and support the databases as well. We do not recommend to have proxy SQL on the database side, because if the database dies or your server dies, it doesn't make sense. This is the topology that uh, we are talking about PXC. So you have the cluster, you have proxy SQL, and it's interacting with all the nodes simultaneously. So uh, proxy SQL 2.0 comes with native support. Uh, this is allowed because of this, in the introduction of these two tables. They do all the control. 
Previously on the current versions, this is made by a uh, external script. So this was uh, this is a, a problem. It was a problem to manage. So this is incorporated on proxy SQL now. Uh, this is another uh, topology that can be used, several applications reach in one proxy SQL, and a Galera cluster. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't need to be a Percona extra DB at all. Uh, the next few slides, uh, I made them because I will put it available. So if you use all the parameters here, you can set up your proxy SQL in a very easy way. You just can copy and paste. I made it available to make it easy for you to make a test. So you just need to replace your IPs for these ones and you have configured it. Uh, you note that here we have the topology like you have a writer node, reader nodes, a backup and offline. So we try it to cover all the situations that can happen do, uh, in a uh, live production. So you have to write, you have to read, you have to perform backups and you don't want to impact your production and you need to perform maintenance. So you have all the four groups trying to cover the most common situations that happen on, during the days. And as I said, uh, these are the commands to make proxy SQL available. Okay. Uh, also, you have to create users on proxy SQL and also on the database. Uh, I'm not going to cover it due to our time. And this is uh, one of the features. You can set a node to a maintenance node. You can do this on your node. And if the application is reading or writing there, Proxy SQL, you detected that the node went to maintenance <laughs> node, it will wait for the connections finish and it will stop halting the queries there in a total transparent way. So you can shut down the node and perform your maintenance and bring it back and the application does not know that, the, that one of the nodes went out and came back. Uh, this is the example, like when you put the node down, this is what's going to be shown for a proxy SQL, and you are going to see the online nodes. Uh, another feature that is really interesting uh, is related to bin log readers. Uh, most of the people complain that uh, I am performing a write, but my halter is, is sending my reads to the slave server but my slavery server uh, does not have the data, so I'm reading inconsistent data. So the new feature now is that you can perform read after writes thanks to GTIDs. Uh, this is a feature of MySQL 5.7 and above. And thanks to the bin logs readers that were, uh, are implemented by proxy SQL. So he knows the GTID that uh, the transaction is reading and is comparing which slave is safe to read. So every time that you are performing a read that you want to perform a, a consistent read, it will choose automatically the slave that already applied the transaction. So you kind of have a, a consistent read even in a classic topology. I think the, this is not related to PXC, but I think it's a, a cool feature to mention. And I want to highlight that it is really useful not only for PXC, but uh, common topologies. This is the code for, for you guys that want to try, don't, don't care about it. I know that the letters are small, but this is the required code if you want to test this in your environment. The code is available to compile and to run. It's, it's really easy. Uh, if you have any problems, you can send any messages for us in the forums. Uh, we usually try to answer Stack Overflow, but it's really more uh, a bit difficult to track there. So please uh, try to send the message on our forums. And finally, uh, I want to mention PMM. So if you do not have any monitoring tool, uh, PMM 
can monitor proxy SQL, also PXC and MySQL standalone or a replication with GTID or not. And since 5.6, and if you enable performance schema or user stats, more dashboards, more information is going to be available for you. Also, PMM until now comes with orchestrator. So if you're looking for any failover tool, it already is incorporated on PMM. Uh, this is what I had to present. I want to mention that uh, in May we are going to have the Percona Live in Austin and I think most of you, Frederico published on the meetup some discounts, right? So you, you, may, che you may check there. Uh, also join our Percona forums, communities, blogs, so if you have any questions we will be pleased to answer. We, we really enjoy, especially me, I, I really like to, to help, so you can reach us. And we are hiring, so if you or you have any recommendation, you can get some money for this. And it's pretty good money. And that's it. I want to invite Frederico and Benny to say the last words. Thank you.